as a person of faith, I still am invested in a particular first story that lends meaning and purpose to my life. I haven't abandoned it. I understand it to be not a literal explanation of human origins, um, but it holds meaning for me. But more recently, I've come to understand, I think, actually a, a better and probably the original way of thinking about the third story, which is kind of like a third way. That is that evolution has a direction. This was key um, principle that Teilhard de Chardin, the French Jesuit, paleontologist, geologist, philosopher, theologian came upon, um, which is that evolution is always in the direction of greater complexity, from the first particles of the Big Bang, to single-celled organisms, to multi-celled organisms, to first life forms, um, to crawl upon the earth, to humans, that, it, that we're always moving in the direction of greater complexity, and that complexity ultimately gives rise to consciousness and with more complexity, higher forms of consciousness. Um, and so we can think about humans in some sense as being the thinking layer of the earth, as the key contributors to the noosphere, um, the, the evolution of, of the planet, um, of life, from the geosphere to the biosphere, to the noosphere, the, the thinking layer, the level of consciousness that we all participate in.